My research question is how are female images used in socialist propaganda to construct utopian? How to generate a new visual language to reverse the old way of viewing? I have some keywords. First one is utopian. Um, it is a conception of an ideal group and society, which means perfect and perfect state, especially used to express the law, the government, and social conditions. The second one is propaganda. It is a way of communication whose purpose is to influence the public position or attitude towards a particular government so that certain people or group can benefit from it. My intention is political design often has various ideological or psychological effects on people under the control of those in power. Political propaganda is the government's media for the masses and reflects the social and cultural roots in deeps. Its design style can also reflect social aesthetics and artistic trends at that time. I found that although feminism has been missing for a long time in Chinese history, female images in political propaganda has often appeared. Female images, bodies, symbols are used extensively in those visions. What did the female face and body become? Is it emotional to gain sympathy or is that a metaphor for desire consumption? The female imaging is used as a tool to play a special role in the constructing a socialist, socialist utopian. As a female designer who grew up on the Chinese cultural background, I hope to analyze and study the various hidden content contained in these old socialist propaganda images from a personal perspective and try to construct a new visual design languages. I first collected images and read the text. Reading revolves around these keywords, I try to read as much as possible, which adds the theoretical support to my research. Also, the collection of images around political propaganda of China and the Soviet Union. There is almost no Chinese official website that collected these posters. I found these images in some private collection websites and the British online library. I categorized the collected Chinese political propaganda on a timeline. We can see the relationship between the historical stage and the content and the art style. Most of this propaganda comes from China from 1950 to 1990. During this period, China has experienced many difficult and chaos since the founding of the People's Republic of China and gradually moved towards a development stage. Then I try to clarify and analyze them using the typologies method from Tony's workshop. I had some new discoveries. Different female images are used for different political purposes. For example, beautiful women are used as a symbol of better life in many images, or they appear as mothers and housewives. Men often work outside, and women need to take care of children, cooking, family. I think this contains a lot of unreasonable requirements for women in the traditional society. In this stage, I must find my research branch and doing deeps, including reading, writing, visual experiments. I found three inquiries and they correspond to three different directions. They are socialist botany, socialist color system, and sketch of social realism. I also tried different research and experimental methods, but these methods are not appear at first. It was difficult at the beginning and the progress was so slow. But I can feel that my idea will uh, gradually become clear as I continue to search and try. The first one I named the socialist botany. I wanted to start with flowers in political propaganda. I found that flowers and object close connected with the female. It really appeared in large area in images of non-female subjects. And it really occurs in the political propaganda of other socialist countries. That is to say, I think it has the characteristics of traditional culture. In China, flowers have many different meanings. Many kinds of flowers have appeared repeatedly in history and culture. In addition to metaphor, I think it also um, has a gender identity. I extracted many flowers in the same post and then found their names, place of origin, and meaning in a search of software, I found that three kinds of flowers appear very frequently and they have different meanings. But the interesting thing is that the same flower has, has different meanings in different same pictures. I keep these flowers in the same position as the orange image. I quickly superimpose them in 
chronological order to form a new image. Although they are still in the same place, their meaning and value also change. Another attempt is to combine calligraphy theory to transform these flowers' patterns into images similar to maps. But these maps do not exist. They are not. They are only used as a, a metaphor for a perfect society that does not exist at all. The second one is that I want to know whether there is a special color system in the socialist propaganda. Each color has different meaning in different cultures. Color psychology also reflects that color has a significant influence on people's subconsciousness and behavior. I want to know whether the colors in the political propaganda are radical in themselves. I used Pantone color recognition software to extract the color of these images and recognize them. A very important reference is from Chinese artist Wu Shanzhuan. His earlier creations are always related to the color. His work inspired me a lot. The idea for the last few posters came from his big character poster series. I tried to combine three different colors and some text that seems irrelevant to politics. This was comes from an interview with some contemporary women. I asked them what desires they have for life or themselves. These ideas are combined with these colors become another posters and then response to the previous propagandas, like forming a close lobe. At the same time, I also want to explore whether these colors are inherently political, which color combination is more radical. The last research direction is about the relationship between the imagination and the reality. I called it a sketch of social realism. In the previous timeline process, I found that many images can correspond to the historical period. Among them, nearly 20 years have been a period of extreme chaos in Chinese society. I found some old photos, which the same time as, as the posters. The uniqueness of reality and the beauty of the fiction form are cruel contrast. In the experiment method, I combine coloring effects of old photos. Two images that look completely different are combined to form a new vision. Paul suggests that I could make a, like a photo album in the chronological order. Um, it's very interesting. I want to continue it. Um, I hope I can do more material experiments. I hope to dig deeper into some of interesting points. Um, after that, I want to use my material to tell in some stories and make them mature and complete. I am uh, full of expectation for my subsequent work.